Okay, number six, we're faced with the same thing. We need to do distributive property. So again, we have a positive three, and we're going to multiply by each one here. So three times negative three. Three times three is nine. So it's nine A, and there's one negative, so the answer is negative. The next, I'll multiply three times positive two. Three times two is six. 6b, and they're both positive, so it's positive. Now I'll multiply 3 times negative 4. 3 times 4 is 12, and there's one negative, so that's a minus. That's a negative. And now I'll bring down, I took care of all this, distributive, now I'll bring down the 6a. Okay, now we can use like terms. So let's put our A's together. So that's 6A, and I have negative 9A. 6 and negative 9. So they're different signs, so you need to subtract. 9 take away 6 is 3, 3A, and there's more negative, so it's negative 3A. Okay, looking at this, I have a 6b and a minus 12. Okay, there's no other like terms, so I'll just bring those down. I have positive 6b and a minus 12, and that is your answer. These are unlike terms. You cannot combine these. One has an a, one has a b, and the other one's just a constant. Okay, number seven, same thing. Go ahead and use distributed property first. So I'll take negative 4 times this number right here, 5. 4 times 5 is 20, so that's 20B. And then there's, more, there's one negative, so the answer is negative. Next, I'm going to multiply negative 4 times negative 3. 4 times 3 is 12. And there's one, two negatives. Two negatives cancel when multiplying. So that's a plus. Next, I have negative 4 times negative 7. 4 times 7 is 28. That's 28A. And there's one, two negatives, so they cancel. Now I'll bring the rest down. I have a plus 3B. And I have a 10A. And so now I just need to combine like terms. So let's start with the A's. I have a 10A. And let's see, is there any other A's? Here's an A, 28A, positive 28A. Okay, I have 10 and 28. 10 and 28 would make 38. So there's 38 A's. Now do the B's. I have negative 20B and positive 3B. So negative 20 and positive 3. They're different signs, so you have to subtract. 20 take away 3 would be 17. And there's more positive or negative? There's more negative. So that's negative 17. B. All right, and then I have uh, just a plus 12 there left over. And that's it. See, these are unlike terms. You cannot combine them. This has A's, this has B's, this is just a constant. And that is your answer. Number eight. Okay, we have to use distributive property. Now that's not a two. That's not a two in front of it. That is a negative 2. Minus 2, negative 2, think of them as the same. So if I have negative 2 times x, that's like a 1x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So that's negative 2x. Then I have negative 2 times positive 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And there's one negative, 
and it's a y, so it's negative ay. Okay, let's see, I'll bring the rest down. There's a plus 3y, and there's a negative 3x. See, I don't have to worry about to put a plus or minus in there because I already know it's, it's negative 2x. Negative 2x is just like minus 2x. It's the same thing. Think of it as the same. Okay, let's combine our like terms. I have some x's, I have negative 3x, and I have a negative 2x. Don't forget to circle the negative in front. Ownership. You know, that's a negative. Minus 2x and negative 2x are the same. So, I have a negative 3 and a negative 2. They're the same sign. If they're the same sign, I would add them. 3 and 2 makes 5. They're both negative. You know, it's negative, negative 5x. We're not multiplying. Multiplying negatives cancel. We're just combining like terms. Okay, now I look up my y's and I have... I have a negative 8y and I have a positive 3y. Okay, these are different signs. That's negative and that's positive. So subtract. 8 take away 3 is 5. And there's more negative, so that would be a negative 5. And that is your answer. Negative 5x minus 5y. So they're different, different variables. They're not like terms. You cannot combine them.